What's up, everyone? Hope you're doing well. Today, we're going to be giving you the top 10 loadouts you can be using right now in Warzone Mobile. You can also use these in Warzone as well, whether you're on console or PC. But since Warzone Mobile dropped this week, I wanted to make sure everyone who was playing was prepared when it comes to loadouts. I'm also going to give you my settings for you to screenshot as well for sensitivity and things like that, and also my HUD. So if you guys need settings as well, we're going to give you those too. All right, so for the settings, we're going to go to your controls here. I'm going to let you guys screenshot these. Also, here's the touch HUD that I'm using when I'm using my fingers. I've also used control as well so we're gonna give you some controller settings also but a really cool thing is if you don't want to screenshot the hud i can actually give you a code that will paste this hud directly into your phone or tablet whatever you're playing on so if you'll go to your control sets and you'll go to download what you want to do is you want to paste this code in right here i'll also put it down in the description for you guys so you can copy and paste it from your phone and then you just hit done go back to your customized hud and it should show up for gameplay go ahead and screenshot these settings right here go ahead and scroll down for you so you can screenshot these i'm not going to go over them i just want you guys to be able to screenshot them if you need them because we're going to get you guys these loadouts here pretty quick for the interface settings we'll go here let me know what you guys think about the actual uh game as well on mobile i know a lot of people aren't able to actually play it on older devices as well so let me know what you think sensitivity here is my first person sensitivity and controller sensitivity first person sensitivity is if you're using touch controller sensitivity is obviously if you're using controller ads sensitivity per zoom all that good stuff so there's those settings right there for graphic settings if you're on a higher quality device like an ipad mainly new gen uh use these right here if you're not use the lowest settings you can that way your phone doesn't erupt and uh things like that so um if you're on a higher device i'm using uncapped as well for the max frame rate and things like that as well so and field of view is set to 90 as far as you can go i think it needs to be 120 because it, at least on an ipad it is rough all right that's it for the settings let's get you guys these loadouts so we're gonna go to gear up here and you're gonna be able to set up your loadouts here on the right so i've got the top five loadouts and i've also got a verdansk old school warzone one loadout out for you uh, just a little throwback if you're playing verdansk and you want to go back and you want to kind of get some nostalgia pretty awesome and then i've got a rebirth island one of my favorite loadouts when it came to rebirth island back in the day going to be a lot of fun there as well so we're going to give you a loadout for that specifically for rebirth island as well unfortunately we don't have the car 98 i hope we get it back someday soon but uh that was my favorite thing to run on rebirth island but so i guess this would be my second favorite for that rebirth island loadout we're gonna go with the m13 m13 is great now unfortunately if you have been playing modern warfare Warfare 3 or the new war zone on these old model warfare 2 weapons you're able to put model warfare 3 attachments on them but here in warzone mobile for some reason you can't do that you can put the camos from model warfare 3 on there but you can't put the attachments on there yet hopefully they add those soon not sure what's going on there so we have the model warfare 2 attachments for these we're gonna run the harbinger d20 muzzle the bruin echelon barrel the cronin mini pro optic this is the closest thing i could get to a blue dot sight which i ran back in the day the ftac ripper 56 under barrel and the 60 round mag for our secondary i'm running the mp7 the mp7 was a ton of fun to run back in the day too uh, i ran it a lot with the m13 that and the mp5 but the mp7 is actually really really solid even in model warfare 3 and warzone so for warzone mobile i'm definitely going to give you guys this as well for that mp7 we're going with the bruin cubic comp muzzle we're going with the vel a568 collapse stock we're going with the saken rubber grip i like the 60 or the 50 round mag here whichever you prefer and the fss shark fin 90 under barrel now to go over these tacticals and stuff i'm running smoke grenades mainly um and then throwing knives to save me on ammo and things like that but then for the perks as well i'm either running double time strong arm fast hands and quick fix also we don't have custom perk packages hopefully that comes soon i don't know why that's a thing um i'm either running that or i'm running scout to have have ghost on basically if i'm running a sniper i'm running dead eye so that i have that high alert but um mainly i've been running uh double time strong arm fast hands and quick fix that's the one that i've been running for two run and gun on things so completely up to you there so that's the rebirth island loadout we're now we're going to give you the verdansk loadout real quick and then we'll get to our top five so for the verdansk loadout we're going with the m4 and then we're going with back in the day we ran the hdr but the hdr um, doesn't really exist now so I, I got the closest thing that can also one shot which is the mcpr 300 so for that m4 for we're going with the Saken Tread 40 muzzle here. If you want a silencer on it, I'd run the Harbinger D20 muzzle, which is right here. Completely up to you there. Just for a little bit more recoil control, though, we're going with that Saken Tread 40. I like the high tower 20 inch barrel on here, the F Tank River 56 under barrel, the 60 round mag, the Choreo factory stock. If you want an optic on there, take off the stock and put the VLK if you want to for a little bit more nostalgia or that Kronen Mini Pro optic. Now for that MCPR 300, we're going with the Nilsound 90 muzzle for a little bit faster 
faster ADS speed. If you don't care about the ADF speed and you want a little bit more range, go with the FTEC Reaper. Uh, we've got the 22 inch barrel here. I like the FSS OV laser. It's going to kind of react like the uh, laser we used to put on things. Then for ammo, I haven't tested this yet in the game, other than the fact that I have one shot people in the game before with high velocity, but I'm not sure if you have to have explosive rounds on here or not. If you figure like you're not one shotting people at all, go with the explosive rounds. I know in Warzone and Modern Warfare 3, you can one shot with explosive rounds with this. High velocity feels pretty good in this game too, in mobile. So I'm not sure if that actually transfers over or not. So I'm running high velocity there. And then I'm running the Cronin Smooth Bolt, which increases your uh, rechambering speed or fire rate. All right, so now for our top five loadouts, uh, we're gonna go from number five all the way down to number one, at least my number one pick. Um, for number five overall, I'm running the Holger 556. Um, this is mobile, um, but like I said, you can use these in Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone if you on console and PC if you would like. So I'm going with the Zimmer 35 Compensated Muzzle. Now, a lot of people have asked me on Modern Warfare 3 and Warzone why I'm running the Zimmer 35. And the reason is it does give like a 5% less bullet velocity deduction. So this comes with like a little perk where you're on your enemy's mini map for a less amount of time. Like your ping on your enemy's mini map is a lot less than it is uh, normally if you're running a different kind of muzzle. Obviously you can run a silencer if you want, but the Zimmer 35 Compensated feels really, really nice. Now we're going with the Cryos 6 Match Barrel. We're going with the Nidar Model 2023 Sight here. Another thing is that I love the Jack Glassless Optic, but apparently you can only put that on things that have conversion kit on them. Don't know why it's not available, but if you want to go with the NIDAR model, you can go that or the MK3 reflector. I like both of those options. For the underbarrel, we're always going with a Bruin heavy support grip underbarrel for now. And then I've got the biggest mag that you can put on here is the 40 round mag. And this is kind of why it's at number five for me right now, because of that 40 round mag in this mobile game, it's a little bit more difficult to maintain your ammo in this game. For the secondary, I've got the AMR9. We're going with that Zimmon 35 compensated muzzle, the AMR9 Regal Pro barrel, the MK3 reflector sight here, or that NIDAR. I like the DR6 handstop underbarrel and the 50 round mag. Number four loadout, we're running the XRK Stalker, which can one shot, period, hands down. We're going with the Colossus Suppressor XL muzzle or the Sonic Suppressor XL muzzle, whichever you prefer here. Then the Fission 60 barrel. I like the no stock here for a little bit faster ADS. Not running a laser on this. And then we're going to go with these high grain rounds. Then we're going with the XRK Stalker light bolt here for a faster fire rate. If you guys remember back in the day, we ran the Milano. I love this thing, even in Warzone and um, Modern Warfare 3. We're going with, it's the WSP-9 in this game, but it feels just like Milano back in the day. So for this uh, WSP-9, we're going with the WSP Optech Long Barrel, the Corio Eagle's Eye 2.5 times scope, the WSP Classics Factory stock for a little bit more recoil control, the Bruin Heavy Support Grip Under Barrel here, and the 50 round mag. So for this loadout number three, we're going with the MCW or the M13 of Modern Warfare 3 or Warzone 3, as I like to call it. And then we're running the Striker 9 SMG with this. For that MCW, we're going with that Zimmon 35 Compensated Muzzle, the MCW Cyclone Barrel. I like the Corio Eagle's Eye 2.5 times scope here, the Bruin Heavy Support Grip Under Barrel, and the 60 Round Drum. Now for the Striker 9 loadout, we're going to go with the Zimmon 35 Compensated Muzzle. I like the NIDAR model on this or the MK3 Reflector Sight, uh, the Lockman MK2 Light Stock, the 50 Round Drum, and that DR6 Hands stop under barrel for our number two overall loadout we're going with the bruin mk9 now the bruin was meta back in the day when it comes to verdansk and rebirth island so it's back now and then uh we're running that with the hrm9 so for that bruin we're going with that zim 35 compensated muzzle again the xrk horizon v2 barrel the choreo eagle's eye 2.5 times scope the bruin heavy support grip under barrel and that 60 round mag then for that hrm9 we're going with the zim 35 compensated muzzle the thorn 90 barrel I like the folding stock here, the DR6 handstop under barrel, and the 50 round drum. Now for our number one overall loadout right now, I have the Ram 7, which was also Verdansk and uh, Rebirth Island back in the day. So that's another plus for this one. And then we have the Ram 9. So we're running both Rams together here. Super fast fire rate. So the Ram 9 kind of reminds me of the Finnick from back in the day as well. So kind of a plus plus here when it comes to uh, old school loadouts and nostalgia. It just happens to be meta as well. So for that Ram 7, we're going with the Zimmer 35 Compensated Muzzle again. Now, if you want a little bit more damage and range on it, you can go with the VT7 Spirit Fire Suppressor here. I like that. Uh, 
Zimmer 35 though. And then we're going with the XRK Core Mark 40 heavy barrel, the Bruin heavy support grip under barrel, the HVS 3.4 pad, and the 60 round drum. Then for that Ram 9, we're going with the Speedway V5 short barrel, the DR6 handstop under barrel, the Recon Comb Comb, that Haste XV grip tape rear grip, and the 50 round mag. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that noti bell so you don't miss another video like this. Uh, we'll be doing some mobile content, but we also have season three of Warzone and Model Warfare 3 coming in the next couple weeks as well. So we'll be getting you guys loadouts for those and keeping you up to date with the meta. So if you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that noti bell, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.